When we get young chickadees here at the center, we are feeding them high protein foods, a lot of uh, live insects or freshly killed insects, and we're feeding them every 15 minutes for 12 hours straight. And that's just to keep up their minimal requirement. I think we get about 30 a year, um, and over half of those are young ones. We get them for a variety of reasons. The young ones, it's usually people cutting down trees and not realizing there's a nest. Chickadees are cavity nesters, just like woodpeckers. So uh, if you're cutting down a dead tree, uh, it doesn't take a very large hole for a chickadee to make a nest. So I would encourage you to observe the tree before you cut it down to see if there's any chickadee activity. Adult chickadees, um, uh, window impacts for sure. And then uh, often we get adult chickadees that have gotten caught in uh, fly tape. So the chickadees want the flies, but then get all caught up in the fly tape, which is uh, yeah, pretty significant damage to their feathers. Uh, these are birds that uh, prepare for winter. On the really cold nights, chickadees go into a, a state of overnight hibernation. Chickadee's going to slow down his breathing, slow down his body systems, lower his body temperature. He'll find a nice cozy spot in a tree or maybe use an old hole uh, that he knows of to, to help protect him from the elements. So come the morning, these chickadees sometimes can be so cold they're unable to fly. So they need to sit there on the tree and shiver to warm up their, their little muscles until they can fly again they will stash seeds. They'll, they'll grab a seed, they'll stick it in a piece of bark or maybe a shingle and they'll keep it there for later. They can remember thousands of hiding spots for uh, up to a month. Studies have actually shown that the brain size in chickadees will grow uh, come the fall uh, and they'll kind of wash out old uh, neurons and things like that so they're well prepared for winter to remember everything. So we know that the typical chickadee dee sound, but they have many other calls, uh, alarm calls, mating calls, just general communication calls. Uh, one thing I, I usually like to tell people is that they also say their favorite food, uh, cheeseburger. So if you listen closely to their whistle, they often go, which often sounds like cheeseburger, which is pretty memorable. The chickadees around the center here along the trails and the beaver trail uh, and nearby trails, they're, they're quite friendly, they're accustomed to people, so bring out some black oiled sunflowers or the center does offer some for a $1 donation. Walk the trails, listen for the chickadees and the, and the hamburgers and when you hear those stop and put your hand out and they'll come right onto your hand for the seed.